Happy New Year, everybody. It is New Year's Eve 2018. We'll be ringing in 2019 very shortly. And in case you have no idea what this video is, once a year, usually New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, I will sit down and I will make a video. It's kind of a video blog of what I've done throughout the year and what I'm going to be doing next year. So, wow, 2018, what a wild ride this has been. Um, it seems like just yesterday I was sitting down doing this for ringing in 2018. This whole year has just flown by. I've been very busy. And you wouldn't know that if you were following my YouTube channel because YouTube has been almost dead. And there's a reason for that. Um, the year started off where I was approached by Cute. They wanted me to do some official videos for them. So um, I've started doing official videos for them. And you can find those out in the resources. And then you can go under development, tech talks, and tutorials. And pretty much if it starts with blue screen and has my name, that's me recording it. That being said, these are shorter videos. They're under 10 minutes, but that 10 minute video may take weeks. And I mean, literally weeks. Um, that's because they're structured very differently. They're a lot more professional and they cover material at a very rapid pace. It's not like my normal video where you'll see me sitting there typing. It's a lot of video editing and Admittedly, sometimes things didn't go as planned. Um, for example, using Qt Creator on Linux, sometimes I would do a QML example, and halfway through, Qt Creator just crashes. So it, the window just boop, disappears. It's gone. So I'd have to start the whole thing over. So what I've really learned is I would uh, program in chunks. So I would actually write the code and then do a few dry runs and then find my stopping points because if that... Cute creator crashes, or if I become tongue-tied, or I make a mistake, I have to have some visual reference on the screen that I can stop at, bring Cute Creator right back up, and then start all over again. You think about that; it's not as easy as it is. If you're 30, 30 lines into a program and then you shut the computer off and come back, how do you visually make everything on the screen exactly like it was? It was a pretty big challenge. Um, the other real challenge for these videos is that they are on the other side of the planet, so there's that time difference. Um, language really it wasn't an issue. Um, I think a lot of the issue is just different goals. They really want to aggressively market their stuff, which you can't blame them. I mean, they need to market in order to make money. Um, but I'm more of a, you know, this is how you do things step by step kind of guy. And it was just a mental shift for me going from step one, two, three to, hey, look at what this technology stack can do. And I don't think all of my videos are even out there. I don't think they published them all yet. Um, but the last round had uh, Cute for Python. So they are generating some interest in other languages, not just C++. And they're really trying to showcase what this technology can do. And if you've really been following, They've been aggressively pushing and trying to get more subscribers. I think they're at 27,000 and change, and I think that's grown a few thousand in the last year. So they're definitely getting some interest in their technology stack, and I think as a company, they're really growing and maturing at a rapid pace. Um, Void Realms with uh, its 62,000 and change subscribers, this just keeps steadily growing. I, I hate to say it, but I don't really invest a whole lot of my time into this, probably not as much as I should. I just publish videos whenever I can. I do try to be very invested in the community. There's a Void Rooms Facebook group. So if you're out on Facebook, I know lately Facebook is considered evil. But if you're out on Facebook, join the Void Rooms Facebook group. Um, if you have no idea how to get there, you just go to my website, Void Rooms, go to contact, and then you just click this join the Void Rooms Facebook group link. And it'll take you right to it. You can join up. There is... At the time of this recording, about just under 3,000 developers in there. I would love it, absolutely love it, if we could get like all 62,000 people in there. Um, the The Facebook group's just amazing because it can be three in the morning and I can post a question and somebody's instantly popping back with an answer. I mean, it's like real time. And sometimes those answers are very helpful. Sometimes they're like, hey, have you tried Google? Uh, so, but it's just the fact that you can talk to another human being pretty much 24 hours a day and get feedback from somebody who knows the technology you're working with is just amazing to me. That just simply didn't exist years and years ago. So anyways, with the Void Realms, I haven't been as active as I usually am. You can see this year, I really haven't posted a whole lot of videos. Um, 
I kind of started with Flutter and went down that technology stack. And anytime I deviate from Qt, all the Qt folks get all upset. Um, but I really wanted to learn Flutter. Um, at the time of those recordings, I didn't think that Qt was kind of up to par in the mobile development realm as much as, say, Flutter is, which is really weird because Flutter was in alpha when I was recording this. They weren't even in beta yet. Um, Flutter is definitely going to be a technology to watch moving forward. It's got really tight integration with everything Google, which means you've got Google Sign-In, Firebase, things like that. Adding in Facebook logins and things of that nature is very, very simple. It's just going to be an amazing technology. However, Qt is an amazing technology, and I think they're really adding in some things that are just going to make this compete head-on with everything else. So begs the question, if I have not been doing YouTube, what have I been doing? Well, I've been really working on something called Udemy. You can visit udemy.com and you can search for me or you can just search for whatever technology you're looking for. And this sprang about because I had one person approach me and one person turned to 10, turned to 100, turned to 1,000. Literally thousands of emails from people saying, love your videos, I love your teaching style, but I cannot walk into a job interview and say, hey, I watched this dude's videos Instead, can you make a classroom? So that's what Udemy is. It's a virtual classroom. And originally, I wanted to give these all away just dead free. The problem is the more traffic I drive away from YouTube and from my official page, the less donations I get because this site's 100% funded by donations. Um, so yeah, I mean, sitting here recording these videos has a very real impact on my life because it takes time and energy away from all the other things I like to do. Um, not making millions and millions of dollars, trust me. Um, if I did, I'd be recording this from a beach in Maui or something like that. But anyways, it just helps fund the recording of more classes. So I started with Dart, and I was actually blown away that these became bestsellers and highest rated. And I'm now moving into the Cute Stack, and the Cute Core for Beginners um, became a bestseller. Cute Core Intermediate literally just published this. Um, these things are immense. These are very time consuming. It's 10 hours of solid video along with uh, quizzes and exercises and things like that. And that 10 hours of video actually takes me about two months of recording, practicing, editing. I, of course, make mistakes. I have to go back and fix. There's engagement in the classroom and things of that nature. And when you're done with all this, I think Udemy gives you a nice certificate of completion that you can slap onto your resume and go get a job with. So. Um, that's been kind of one of my focuses is really making these into official classes. And I want to take pretty much everything that I know. And I actually know a lot more than what I have in my profile. But you think about it, you know, all these languages and make a beginner's intermediate and advanced. And then like different frameworks and different certifications like CISP and Microsoft, Linux, A plus Network Plus, VMware, you know, things of that nature. In different technologies like Cisco UCS, SQL IIS, vCenter, blah, 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 on and on. But you think of just one technology stack and how long that takes. So, for example, Qt, um, I've taken Qt Core and I've split into beginners, intermediate, and advanced. Well, that's just the core. That's things like, you know, QString and sockets and threading and stuff like that. So there's a beginner's intermediate advanced at that. Each one of those takes about a month and a half to two months. So just to go through Qt Core takes about four to six months that's a lot of recording so this will definitely keep me busy for the foreseeable future just taking everything i know and putting it into some sort of official classroom format and throwing it out on udemy now i'm not going to forget about youtube because i love just the whimsical nature of youtube how i can just record something no video editing completely not caring and making a lot of mistakes and then learning from those mistakes in real time um I definitely like doing that, but my videos, I've been trying to get a little more professional. I've been diving into video editing, uh, something I'm not very fond of, but I've definitely been learning it, and I've been trying to stay away from those cheesy transitions, but uh, so that's really what I've been focused on, along with just Void Realms. I really need to just go through and redo this whole website. I have moved all of the source code for the tutorials up to GitHub. That was a monumental effort until I learned how to script that, so pretty much... Everything that I've ever written for Void Realms is up on GitHub right now. 
but my time has been very limited because I got a promotion at work, a uh, pretty hefty one. Um, when I say hefty, I mean in responsibility. So I have been working a lot of hours, and that's been taking away from everything else. Um, and I've also been trying to just unplug. I spend a lot of time on the computer. So I bought a house, and of course, when you buy a house, you have to paint the walls and all that. And I'm looking around, and there's no artwork on the walls, like nothing. It's just like a prison in here. So I've been buying canvas art from this site called wish.com. And as it comes in, I've been building my own canvas stretcher bars and stretching and stapling the canvas and then hanging it up on the walls. So I've been putting some artwork around the house. Last but certainly not least, I've gotten engaged. I've never been very lucky in love. I don't know many people who have, but hopefully this is the one. I really love this woman. Knock on wood. Hopefully everything works out. And if you notice, there's no extra tabs. So what am I going to be doing in 2019? Well, pretty much everything that we talked about, I'm going to be really pushing hard on Udemy, and that'll be the bulk of my focus. Um, Cute has reached out and contacted me again about doing potentially some more videos. There's some back and forth and some questions going on there. But really, my focus is just going to be on friends, family, um, actually reverse that family, friends, and then, you know, the Void Rums channel in Udemy. So... More to come, and I look forward to 2019, and I uh, hope to see you guys there. If you have any uh, comments or any ideas for maybe some courses on Udemy or videos out on YouTube, let me know. I'll definitely take a look at them and see what I can do.